You're listening to an MDS podcast. On this episode of the Bernie Dinston Household, we talk about one thing and one thing only rice. Okay, I hear like a clicking sound. Are you like jingling some chains or? Nope, not at all. I think you're having a stroke. It, it's on your side that you are you're jingling Twin? some chains. Twin, that is the first sign of a stroke, buddy. Jingling of chains. T- well, Twin, it turns I'm out wrong. it turns out that Ebenezer Scrooge uh, had a stroke <laughs> that night because the first thing that happened was. <laughs> Jacob Marley, and he's there in chains, so... You know what? Honestly, that would make the most amount of sense for what he saw. I think he had a stroke, and then, you know, he came back. Surprise! He, somehow, he uh, rehabilitated himself, and and he just decided to tell the story. What's the time of the century when, when this is done? I mean, there you had all the fevers going around, I'm sure. Scarlet fever. Uh, you got the Black Plague going on. You, you got... Um, you know, you, you got bird flu, you, you got Lupus, red nose, whatever that got, is. And that's back when Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben oh, still boy. had their jobs. So, uh, oh boy, <laughs> cancel so we know that this quick. Is when... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is when uh, uh, the what was it the the butter lady uh, the well what was it's, uh, it's not Pocahontas, Mrs. It's, Buttersworth. Uh, no, 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 the butter, the butter, butter, yeah. the lake. That, oh, Lando Lakes, lady. Thank you. You, you. Here I am. I'm saying butter. Butter. You said Mrs. Butter's <laughs> That's syrup, isn't that? <laughs> I said, I said Pocahontas. You said Mrs. Butter's <laughs> I was, I was, I was all into it. You kept saying butter. And all I heard was Butter's <laughs> Hey, hey, sometimes you just need to double down. No matter what is going, even when you're down three thousand dollars and your mom has put you out of the house you say i'm a double down on jesus yeah. i feel good even when the mob bosses are breaking your leg you said i'm a double down again and when you I go to like- kfc and ask for the limited edition double down sandwich I don't like how you immediately went into James Brown just because. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at our sheet because we're very organized, very organized podcasters. That's why our podcast has never missed a week. And uh, oh, like, there's one there's so thing on the sheet, and on. that is <laughs> I'm just doubling down on all. Um, <laughs> there's a <laughs> it just sounds wrong when I do it. Uh, there's one word on my sheet that is imaginary, and it says rice. You oh wait, oh, twin! I just realized that we're not recording video for this, are we? No. Oh so, my gosh! I, I'm over here like fully getting dressed. Oh <laughs> my goodness! I'm, I I even said, oh let me you know let me put on some clothes, and you just said nothing. You just let me just get. Oh my gosh! Well, you're the one who joined. You joined the meeting. What am I supposed to do at that point? Oh, we'll, we'll say, we'll say, um, 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 how about you don't have to actually fully get dressed, Ben? Because I, I didn't know how you felt about it. I didn't know. I, I wasn't questioning it. If you wanted to put on pants to do this thing, then you put on pants. All right. I understand that. I have to put on socks when I get up in the morning or else my day is just shot. Wait, I'm sorry. Huh? Uh, so I need this right story because we, we need to talk about this. There are some things that that I want to set myself up for success and I have found, especially in the summer when I'm out of my routine you've been out of your routine for a little bit there Twin. Um, but when I'm out of my routine <laughs> I said, oh you're summer for you when I'm out of my routine I, uh, I put my socks on in the morning and it puts me into more of an active state. If I don't have my socks on, then I, the, the day shot I mean I'm, I'm just I'm vegging out on the couch. I'm watching YouTube all day. You know, I, I've got five bags of chips around me. 
I mean, I don't know where they appeared, but you know what didn't appear? My socks. That is why. <laughs> I have to, to set myself up for success. I have to put my socks on. I've, I've never heard such a ludicrous story for a person to get ready in the morning. Well, just this feel like they, that's how they succeed in the day is I have my socks on. <laughs> You're making it sound like it's such a, a ritualistic thing that I do in the morning. Yeah, because that's what it sounds like. the time. Because <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Every, like any bad day that you have, you're like, yep, did I put on my socks? No! Ah, that's why I'm having a bad day. I forgot to put on my socks. No, it's not a bad hair day thing. I'm just telling you, there is there is a correlation between me when I go and I have my socks on and me when I don't. As to when I am active and and non-active, and and uh, so so let me ask you. So the day you got adopted, you were three years old. Did you oh have boy, socks on I that was... day, and was that how? That's how it became a good day because you had socks on that day. You're like, yes, I got adopted. Come on. Now. I'm pretty sure I was four days old, but that that's fine. But I'm sure <laughs> socks were involved. I I you know I I can say with full full confidence. The best so that's thing that ever happened started. to me. Listen, the best things that have ever happened to me, I've had socks on for. Married my wife, what was I wearing? Socks. I got my first job, what was I wearing? Socks. <laughs> Graduated Wait. college, what was I wearing? Socks. That lasted me five uh, years. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, which year was that? <laughs> I was going to say, which? Oh, so the day you didn't walk with us, that was, uh, you weren't wearing socks, that's, that's what it was. Yo, know, um, my, tassel, uh, my tassel says 2018, and that's what I'm sticking by. <laughs> It, it uh, this the sock uh, I I just I I think back think back to when when the quarantine stuff started back in 2020 and everybody started working from home and I remember seeing on Facebook everybody was like you know here's some tips as if they've been through it here's some tips to help you have successful quarantine and it would be things like you know still get dressed still do your hair still do your makeup when you go when you're going to your uh, laptop to go log on to Zoom. And all that stuff. Still do all this stuff so that you can set yourself up for success. I think twin, that was twin, a bunch I, of crap. I, but my socks, I, that was a difference. That was a difference maker. Twin, I'm not, I'm not disregarding what you're saying. But here's how I'm going to disregard what you're saying. Um, <laughs> this, this, this all sounds like, you know, you talked about all these life events, these big momentous events in your life. But th these all sound like, you know, the reason, you know, what happened when I was getting married, I had my socks on. That's like saying you were breathing that day. You know, you know, the best day of my life when I got married, I breathed that day. You're welcome, Lizzie. Uh, when I graduated college in my seventh year, I was breathing that day. When I met my best friend slash twin slash best person in the world, uh, Benjamin Bernie, I was breathing that day. You're welcome. See, I mean, it, it, it's it's a... It's as simple as breathing. That, that you're not, not making this, it's not as simple as that. Because you're not making it, you're not making it sound like it was a special ritual that you did. Like every morning you do yoga or that you I do... told you it's not a special it's not a special ritual. I told you that, but it is one step above breathing of the fact of I need to breathe in order to live. All right. Do I have to put socks on? Jesus didn't. You saw all the work you did. <laughs> I, well, I'm well, just okay. Saying, I, you don't have to. It is one extra step that I take, even on the days when I don't have to. I put socks on, and it makes my day just that much more successful. It's not a ritual. It's not like a now we pour the tea type of deal. Like it's 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 it is <laughs> it is just something I do, and it's something that 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 sets myself up for success. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I'm a. I'm gonna do this a little podcast with you. I'm not wearing any socks um, because I just well, want to. Now we're doomed to fail. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to prove you wrong. This will be a one-sided podcast. There will be one successful side <laughs> and one eh, kind of side, and we'll see who put in the most work. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have the most work. But yeah, just saying. <laughs> so I have this list of all the. Things we want to talk about today, and there's only one word on it, and it is rice. Honestly, twin, I don't know why we said it the other day. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why we said it was. Oh, I remember it was something we were talking about. I just said the different types of rice, and I started naming them all. Yes, and oh, well, it was because I was eating rice, 
and you and you've had this this stupid idea that when Leslie and I have kids, you're going to be Uncle Ben, which is fine, but that you're going to hold rice in your pocket <laughs> Uh, okay, and give no, them to don't my say kids. it. Don't first of all, don't say it like that. Like it's just completely outlandish, just a stupid idea. This You're is holding stupid. rice in a pocket. That is a stupid idea. Giving it to kids. Okay, first of all, let's get it right. It's cooked rice. Let, let, Oh, let's just let's even just settle worse that right somehow. now. That's I mushy. just want, I, I just want to. <laughs> hey, you do it for the kids. The sacrifices are made. Um, yeah, let's 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 let, let's get that right. First of all, it's cooked rice. So you want to hold cooked rice in your pocket. No, I don't want to hold it. I'm doing it for the kids. I don't think the kids want you to hold cooked rice in your pocket. I First of all, somehow no, no, that got you know, worse. here, how do you know? How are you going to, are you the Lorax of the kids? Like, how are you going to speak for them? I speak for the trees. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You know what? I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I I'm just, I'm I just think saying, you, how do you know? you. So you tell me right now. You picture yourself being a kid or when you were a kid. And your uncle comes up and hands is like, hey, you want some rice? First You of want all, some I just cooked wish I rice? had an uncle. I just Reach wish I had into an uncle. my pocket. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, now you just crossed the line. You crossed the pocket lining a little too far Oh, there. boy. Uh, because, yeah, I'm not saying tell the kids to reach in the pockets. I'm saying whenever I come around, they'll be like, hey, Uncle Ben. And, you know, I'll be like, hey, kids, I got a present for you. And then I pull out No, a baby see, bed. it just, it got bad again. It What got do you mean? bad again. It just, I, I got a present for you. Cooked No, okay, rice. no, they say, what you bring us this time? And I say, reach out your hands. Boom. No, I lay down some it's, no, cooked rice. see, it's still, it's just, it's wrong. Nope, 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 nope. They're going to enjoy that cooked rice and they're going to love it. And each time I'm going to bring them different types of rice. So that's how we got on this whole conversation because I, I have been a fan of the brown rice. But now I've been eating wild rice. Mmm, that's some good stuff. With that canned, uh, canned shredded chicken. Nothing says being on a budget than that. Oh, that's right. We were talking about uh, Campbell's, you know, uh, chicken noodle soup or canned soup and, with some rice with it. No, I, no. But I mean, that that's not bad either. Do you do that? I actually don't blame me. I never had it. I've always heard about it, but I've never That had doesn't it. sound awful. I No, what I do is, and I started doing that when we watched that Ryan Trahan series when you came over last summer. You remember that Penny Challenge where he was going across America Uh, who? Oh, dear God. on YouTube? And uh, he did, he at one point had uh, rice and I think it was tuna. He bought it from a, a gas station. And so I've been doing the rice and tuna ever since. And then recently I've been doing rice And canned chicken, and and we got the shredded chicken not too long ago, and that that's changed the game. It's it oh, it's good. Well, first of all, I mean, since we're on this discussion, you know, I just looked up. There are over 40,000 varieties of cultivated rice. So don't don't get mad at me. So But let's, where's let's go this? ahead and name them all. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Don't get mad at me. So uh, let's Where start with, where with is arboreal where is rice, this rice coming from? basmati rice, black rice. Bama rice, and we still got uh, 39,996 to go. Uh, brown rice, jasmine rice, long grain white rice, short grain white rice, parboiled rice. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. What was your question? My question is where does rice come from? <laughs> cuz cuz I feel like it's going to be something obvious, but I'm thinking in my head I'm like it looks like grains of sand. But Yeah, it's not. twin. I, twin oh gosh, this is why I want to teach your kids because Ray, rice comes from the pockets. Comes from Uncle Ben. No, it doesn't. Stop. <laughs> Where does... <laughs> Oh, my goodness. That's how it happens. I'm, I'm trying to teach you. Uh, Do you, do but you no, hear no, my keyboard no. clicking? All right, is Where? that you trimming? It comes from rice fields. Don't you know this? I was asking you. I literally said, where, where is it? Where, where is it? Where does it come from? Rice fields. And it's rice fields. Okay, what is rice made from? 
I oh, this is getting worse. All right, rice is the seed of the grass species, or Rhiza sativa. Pretty sure that's in none of this marijuana. is making sense. How do how <laughs> how does rice grow? Now now it's wanting me to watch a YouTube video on how rice grows. You see, does a rice, rice naturally... sativa. That's a marijuana. No, it but it is a semi aquatic plant. Ah, uh, th this is awful. I, I, I like. I'm happy to know that it's not something simple as in like. Well, you see this field here. This is my rice field. No, it needs to be underwater. It looks like well, it needs no, a sun that's lamp. What it is. So I mean, it, it looks Asia, like and it's coming you from say, a, a my grass. Rice? You say here's my rice field. You still say here's my rice field. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what you said is no Those different. People... Hey, here's my rice field. <laughs> like, that's what it is. <laughs> Those people worked so hard to earn the right to say, here's my rice field. <laughs> I'm sorry. All they did was let it rain more. Like, how does that <laughs> any <anyhow? laughs> happen? You have to, you know, I would like to think that in a second life that I am a farmer. Because I am definitely not one now. I mean, I, I won't even do farming simulator because all of a sudden there's a thousand things you can be doing. You got to tend the field. You got to go and 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 get the field ready. I guess that's tending the field. I don't know. You got to prepare the field. You got to go and season the field. You got to go and let the field rest. You got to do six years of something and then do a seventh year because it's the seventh year of rest or something like that. The rain's got to fall what, just in the what, right what lateral you know? direction. And it's a whole thing. And I and that's why, how do I know this? Well, I grew up in, uh, right next to Farm Town, Indiana, supposedly oh, people tell me. Oh, that's right. You, you grew up my rice field. Like that, no. that, that makes sense. That's where you. No, grew up. nobody. I no, no, no one I grew up around said, "Hey, check out my rice field." No, but I have the, I have the utmost respect of farmers because one, they'll go and they'll do fields and stuff like that. But then two, they're taking care of animals and all the stuff. I mean, they, they. What is it? They supply. It's more than half of the food in America, or they, they. There's, a, there's some type of number that's very important with farmers, that. uh Basically, we wouldn't have the Whopper if it weren't for them, oh, and that's a that's a that's a serious thing. And do you know what is on the Whopper? Uh, on no. the Whopper, uh, it, it rice. No, no, there's no rice on the Whopper. What Whopper yes. have you got that has rice? All those buns you see. What do you think those little white specks are? Rice, poppy seed. Those are seed. That's seed. Nope, rice. <laughs> I don't know where you're getting these whoppers from. <laughs> the twin. I never, I never had a whopper. Say with me, rice. I'm not saying it with you. Also, again, you keep creating these imaginary whoppers that you supposedly saw in Italy and stuff like that. Of there's the angry whopper, there's the happy whopper, there's the red whopper, the black yes! whopper. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is Oh my thing. gosh! I, I want. I was in Germany. And I, I was, oh, I was in Frankfurt and they had the black angry whopper. And I was like, oh my gosh, it, that's up my alley. I'm the only black person here. It must be for me. And so I went up to them and I said, hey, can I get the black angry whopper? Granted, my train was about to leave in like five minutes. I really didn't have time for this. But I said, is this the train you fell name. asleep on? No, that's a different time. Um, <laughs> that, that, that was in Italy. This was Germany. Get, get, oh. get the countries right. Um, <laughs> so I, I wanted the black, I said, can I get the black, can I, can I get the me angry whopper? And oh, I boy. said, and, and they said, we so sorry. We, we do not have any more black buns. And I was like, what? No! I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. What country are <laughs> you in? <'Cause... laughs> I wanted the, the black angry buns with the rice on it. No. So you actually have never had a whopper? You just said. Never had a Whopper. Uh twin. Twin. Never had a Big Mac either. That's okay. I, I'm not a huge fan of the Big Mac, but the Whopper, that's a that's good stuff, even though it doesn't. Isn't it not just have a basic rice. sandwich? I mean, it's no. Just... Oh no. You go and you bite BLT into that. The B? No. Also, you can get a bacon what no. Oh. You're just missing out. I mean, you you bite into the sandwich and the juices from the meat that are within and it's all on a on a bun. 
and the, the meat is just seasoned and it's a flame broiled burger. Twin, and I'm then on top of no, no, hold on, hold on. On top Ugh. of that, you've got the juiciest slice of tomato that man has ever known. You Love. might even get two if it's a I day like where tomato. people are wearing socks. And you then look, on oh. top of the tomato, <laughs> on top of the tomato, the lettuce. Oh, don't get me started on the lettuce. The lettuce adds a nice crisp to it, but also makes you think, hmm, maybe this is a little healthy. And then you bite into that lettuce, and it just adds that crunch, that that crunch sound that happens when you eat it. And then, then finally, you've got the little slivers of onion that they put on and top. Wrong, of it. wrong, onion, you're wrong. The rings That's not the order. of That's onion. That's not the order. The That's rings the order. of onion. And then, what do you have on top of that? Cheese, if you order extra. But cheese. If you're not getting it with cheese, you're not ordering the Whopper right. But with cheese. Oh. And that cheese is melted, just, just slightly melted on top. And finally, that mayonnaise that goes right on top of it. And you put that oh. in on another sesame seed bun, and you bite oh. into that thing. Oh, it's I'm a sorry, a what mouth. bun? A what bun? Uh, not rice seed bun, because that's not a thing. That's what it is. No, it's not. <sighs> I'm sorry, Twin. Have you never heard of a rice patty? That's what it is. No, but I don't think you listen. Do I need to explain the Whopper again? No, no. I don't the... think anyone needs to know. I'm it's sorry, a, but I, I'm not. Time. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, poop on your Whopper. But does do they have a nice jingle to explain what it is? McDonald's does. Two wall beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Does the Whopper do that? No, but they had a song that was like Whopper, Whopper, special Whopper, Whopper, or something like that. That came out this that, year. That that is that's like you know first semester theory class Sibelius form. That's so sad. That is just so sad. Oh, there's a whole. Is it bad that I'm looking at this this way they make the Whopper? Like it, it's the order of everything, and I kind of want it as a poster. <laughs> Somehow I, I see you doing that with some it's, kind of dumb quote like "let lay it on me" or something. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think that'd be my quote. I pick. I I'm, I'm kind of liking that. Lay it on me. But, I, if know. I could, if I could get it to somehow connect to music teaching, I would definitely have this thing on 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 the wall of my classroom. I don't. I don't it starts I think out with the. the it starts out with the bun, then the flame broiled burger, then Wait, the twin, hold pickles. Up, hold up, do re mi no. so la ti do. Oh my gosh, twin! Oh, does it light up? Oh, it, it, this is this is. I, you know what? <laughs> we joke about this, but this is going to be a thing, and I will post it on my social media. Twin, but I'm I not will gonna make lie. This. It's 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 right. I. It's it's exactly. It's exactly the soul fetch. I will. I will make it happen. I will make this poster, and it will be my favorite poster I've ever made. Do the bread that goes on the whopper, Ray. <laughs> a, a drop of some for the beef. Me the pickles I love so much. Ba, da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you lost track of what you put on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, unfortunately, a far a, a, a catch up far for would run. So done. that nope. Onions. That didn't go well. I, I, I don't know the order. Don't don't do it. anyway. Made that obvious. <laughs> made that very obvious. If if maybe if they had a jingle like the Big Mac, I w- we'll be having a different discussion. You know what? But I'm seriously gonna make this poster. Please don't. But I want to make it very clear that that is not rice on top of the buns. That's not it's rice. That's not how that is. Twin, look look it at is. it. Look 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 at it. What shape is it in? Rice. <laughs> You got any summer goals, summer plans, you know, since it is the beginning of June? Not to wear socks, okay. Yeah, just to spite you. Are you a are you a crew cut sock person? Are you a ankle socks all the way? Ankle socks, okay. All day, every day. I my goal for 2023 was to up my sock game. Like, was to actually have, like, creative patterns on my socks instead of just wearing black socks every day. And so I, my wife tried to help me out by getting me, uh, like, some Hershey socks and candy socks. Like, I've got a Jolly Rancher one. Um, 
a uh, Reese's one. So that's the, you, you really don't have any goals for the summer or anything you're looking forward to? Oh, no, I do. I do. Uh, a lot of it is just working on music, getting, you know, the voice right for a bunch of auditions and uh, a couple more recitals to do. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's just nice, chill summer. It's probably the first time I had kind of to myself in a long time. And so I'm I'm going to sit back, relax, enjoy. I did finish Harry Potter, uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, I wish I would have well, saved it to now. Um, 90 hours, twin. 90. Yeah. I finished, uh, I finished the second book of Harry Potter. Does that count? <laughs> nope. It's not, it's, not, it's not the game. I No, I'm looking forward to it. I just... I think the Switch will be my best uh, go at it. I think back to, uh, you said it's your first summer you've had, like, kind of that you get to decide and stuff like that. I think back to the summer that we, well, we lived together a couple summers, but the first summer we lived together on campus and you had to do ox bus and I was doing the daycare on and uh, teching and marching band and we never saw each other <laughs> and you had to wake up early every oh, day. Gosh. It I was, had to wake up um, early every day. <laughs> oh, let's also point out the fact that uh, you said, and you always, you know, knocked on my door like at five thirty in the morning, like twin. You want to go work out? No. <laughs> well, you'd be so enthusiastic the night before and be like, "Yeah, we're gonna work out. Live. We're gonna look good. We're gonna get Cat. this done." Cat. And then the next morning, the next morning, any time that I would want to follow through on it. <laughs> It was it was a no go. I, I'm sorry, Twin. Uh, I see there's a bunch of lies going on here. Where what what lies? What are you talking about? Because I never was excited the night before. Never. You had you had some enthusiasm for us to have to for... wake up early in the morning and lose more sleep. Speaking of sleep, Twin, um, I'm not gonna lie. Doing this podcast right now. Um, I woke up like around 1.30, 2 o'clock yesterday in the afternoon. Well, I need to point that out. Um, yeah. I've yet to go to sleep. Oh. 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 I, I'm, I'm running on 24 hours right now. I was on oh. Sibelius last night. I lost track of time. I started watching Think Like a Man. Then I watched Think Like a Man 2. Uh, oh, and, yeah. <laughs> and, you, you know. <laughs> That's how it goes. And, and then you know, I started watching uh, Arthur and the Invisibles. And then come to find out, they made a two and a three. So I watched the whole trilogy. Because I had no idea about this. I watched the whole trilogy while doing Sibelius. And uh, here we are. We're, we're at 24 hours right now. Wow. And I'm expected to go see Spider-Man 2 uh, into the Spider-Verse tonight. And uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Yeah, you're going to be dead asleep either, either at the movie theater or you're going to be dead asleep when it's time for you to leave, I'm, what uh, is going to happen? Or, or why, why ye a little faith? What if I end up pulling a thirty-six hour day and I uh-uh. go see Spider Man two? Uh uh-uh. uh, you're going to try and do it, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'm, I'm well, totally, I'm... oh well, well I... why don't you tell me what what do you have planned for the summer? You know, now that you, 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 let's say you go on and put on your socks tomorrow morning. What I will. does your day look like? Uh, just tomorrow or the summer? The summer, it's the first time that I'm not working in my classroom like last year. If you remember, because you came to visit, I uh, was building my stu- studio for my broadcasting classes. This year, I have no plans to really be in that building unless I actually have to for a couple of rehearsals, but plan to just relax i uh, i go on vacation what will be tomorrow or you know if you're listening when this comes out it'll be today um but i'm going on a family vacation <laughs> i'm going on you gotta have faith in this i'll put my socks on i'm going on a family <laughs> vacation um where we're all in a airbnb house up up north and uh oh where are we going twin because i mean yeah, i just want to point out a... you did say family yeah vacation, and uh and uh, if i recall um, this is the brain dancing household. <laughs> oh, so, you know, we are family. 
Like yeah, just a, no, this is just the Deniston side of the Bernie Deniston household. Wow. Uh, going on this vacation. We're breaking up already. What, twin? I'm hurt. But there's there's a lot of us. I mean, there's... Uh, I, don't even, I don't even know if I can count right now. I think there's close to 20 of us going. It's a big old house. And uh, so it should be a good time. Get back Monday and... and then I've got a conference I'm going to later this month, and then going on to Leslie's side of the family. We've got a vacation planned. We go camping every year over in Wisconsin. You know, I my goal is to uh, I've got some books I'm I'm in the middle of reading, and my goal is to just relax. You know, have a have a good time. Leslie and I are looking on going one more vacation as well in July. Uh, that'll be a full on camping vacation, just the two of us. So that that'll be fun too. So. Yeah, summer's going to be a good one. I hope it's a good one. And, uh, of course, on my radar is this podcast. You know, I think our goal needs to be to beat three. Because we've only done three every every summer, right? We need to do four. It, it just, it gets sad <laughs> every time. <laughs> What's even more sad is... Leslie's YouTube channel, Nessie Reads, plug, um, is uh Wow. Has more... Plug in the middle. <laughs> has more more episodes than us, including one that just went out yesterday, uh, meaning today. Um, you know, that you can go and watch right now. It's her April and May uh wrap up and June T V R. So, you know, just head on over to that YouTube channel. You can go ahead and exit. Why are you doing the whole commercial so... <laughs> in the middle of our thing? <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you no. by <laughs> Welch's. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, I. You know what's sad? The summer's gonna go by fast. I already feel. Are you Are you coming down for the fourth again? I, I didn't know I was. Well, everybody keeps asking because we got our little party. We do. Well, uh, no one invites me. No, uh, so this is, so, this is uh, me inviting you. This is literally we just talked about it yesterday. This... Here we go again. I'm just never oh, invited. Oh boy. You know, just like what was that? The Memorial Day or the the uh, Labor my birthday? Day or... No, my birthday. My birthday. Same thing. Same okay. day. I think Memorial Day nope. and your birthday, both both days of great sacrifice. Oh uh, boy, it's sad for America. Yes. Oh no. Um... Oh no. <laughs> Canceled again. <laughs> well, twin, it's it's about that time. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, what? It's about that time. You canceling me that quick? No, I'm just I'm, I'm saying it's about that time. Because uh, I know well, I gotta I think, edit this later. Well, I think we need to do our signature song. Our signature go away song. Oh, that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We always gotta do I think we, But I you think gotta we thank to people it. for you gotta thank people for uh for what for listening. Are you about to say watch. I know what you're about to say. Um I want to thank everyone. Um, when the day friends. is done. Okay. The... Oh. <laughs> we sorry. sing that together. You can't I was have ready. it be the background music. I need a little bit of warming up. So. No, you should just know it. Uh, friends, Romans, countrymen, <laughs> lend me thy ear. When the what? day okay. is done. What, what are you doing? <laughs> We're having a little rehearsal. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. When the day is done. You got to thank people for. Oh you got to thank people. What are you doing? <laughs> Isn't it Memorial Weekend? So I mean, isn't it? It's my, not. My it's not. We're enough? in the mid. It is Thursday right now. <laughs> it's not the weekend. We are closer to this next weekend than Memorial Day weekend. Are we though? We are. <laughs> How do you know? You can't do your days of the week in order. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every day. I don't know why that sounded wrong. <laughs> I think, I think I should have started on Sunday. Isn't that my yeah, problem? <laughs> I yeah, that's the problem. All right, end this, please. Hi, right, thank you, everyone, for listening to the uh, Bernie Dennison Household Podcast. Me, 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 me. Uh, we want to invite you back for next week, and uh, I want to remind you. To don't always... sign. Don't sign us up for this. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep you. I, I I want you guys to look forward to our next podcast episode coming out in three hours. 
uh, we'll be every three hours. We'll keep on cranking those suckers out. And uh, yeah, we'll have a good time. So as I always say, keep your rice cooked in your pockets. When the day is done done, and the night night is far away, away, and the night is 